Good morning, this is Mr. Willie in West Virginia. It's uh, the third day of December, and um, we are we have entered Advent season. And uh, I've been kind of studying in the book of Luke, um, and there's a system to it, but I'm bouncing all over the place because the Spirit of the Lord is just taking me all over the place. Um, and that's not to say I'm being so spiritual, it's just I'm just all over the place. <laughs> but I wanted to share a scripture with you this morning that kind of was in my spirit this morning and it's in Luke 2 and it's it's uh, the heading says the birth of Jesus and I'm gonna go down to verse 8 it says and there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field keeping watch over their flock by night so this was this was the night shift of the shepherding company and uh, they were working hard and lo the angel of the Lord came upon them and the glory of the Lord shone, shone round about them and they were sore afraid the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And I'm just going to stop there, because um, you know I talk to people on a daily basis. I see things going on on Facebook all the time. I have people that message me. I get out and about and, and interact with people on a daily basis. And um, people are in pain. Um, there has been a lot of death this season, including people's pets. It's been weird. Not just people dying, but pets. Um, there have been overdoses. There have been car accidents. There has been uh, funerals. I... I I can, I, I've been to several several different funerals, and, and I can honestly say I've been in different seasons where it seemed like there was a funeral every week, and it's been that way again. And it's weird because on one side of the spectrum, there's all this devastation and pain and hurt and anxiety and, and, and stuff that's just tearing at people's souls, and then on the other end, you see people on vacation, you see people enjoying life, you see people at Disney, you see people just getting married and, and just enjoying and it's like people are dying on one side and people are living on the other side and people are traveling and having fun and other people are depressed and suicidal and it's just it seems like planet earth has become this like microcosm of craziness and I know that I'm just talking about where I live and the people I interact with I'm not even going into other states and and, and other countries and the planet but here in scripture it says and the angel said unto them fear not behold I bring you good tidings of great joy which shall be to all people and then he goes on to announce the fact that there's a savior that's being born when I was thinking about the fact that you know it doesn't matter what year you are as far as a Christian, how long you've been a Christian, how long you've been going to church, how long you've been following after Christ, we all still need a Savior. There are days where I just want to crawl back into bed, throw the covers over my head and just not listen to everything that's going on. And then throw in, um, you know, financial problems or, or, or health problems or, uh, you know, there's a myriad of things that can go wrong in life. And yet... I remember my dad and I have been texting back and forth here lately, and, and he said, you know, I woke up and I'm breathing, so I'm blessed. And I thought, true, Dad, true that. <laughs> Sometimes we overlook and we're not thankful enough for the things that are going right. I'm trying, and I, I have all kinds of reminders around me in my room to kind of remind me to be thankful, to to to, to trust in God, to to you know to to enjoy life. Uh, there's just all kinds of things in my in my house. I got one one. I have several several things that are just constant reminders. But you've got to focus on those things because you can see the bad all the time. I can go out on my porch and watch traffic on Route 50 go by and see an accident or see a policeman pulling someone over and know that that's tragic or that's going to be kind of tough and whatever. I mean, you can always go out and see stuff that's going wrong. But how often do we focus in on the fact that we have life? 
that we're breathing in air and we're alive. You may even have a disease. You may have something that's going on that's, that's, that's caused some trauma in your life. But take a deep breath and breathe in and pause for a minute and just relax yourself and realize that life is going by fast. I was talking with a, a brother this morning about the fact that it just seems like uh, he's on a treadmill. And a lot of us get on these treadmills where we're moving, 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 moving. We're busy, 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 busy. But where are we going? Jesus came at a time when it was busy, even when in, in the time that he came. There were people working. There were people trying to find a place to live. There were people that were, were coming in to be uh, in, in, in Bethlehem, and, and I'm sure it was going on all over the country. And Jesus snuck in quietly as a babe. And you know what? A lot of people missed him then. A lot of people missed him when he became an adult and when he was walking around ministering. And a lot of people are still missing him now. And the truth of the matter is that we all need a savior. We need somebody that's going to come in and save us, not just from what's going on around us in the world, but from ourselves at times. Jesus said, be of good cheer, for I have overcome the world. We'll have tribulation here on this planet. He says that. We'll have tribulation, but he said, be of good cheer, for I have overcome the world. So I just want to encourage you, you know what? If you're having a rough time, I've been up since four and I've been praying in the spirit and uh, I will be praying in this season probably for, you know, until the new year begins. And then we will go into the new year praying. God loves you. And he wants you to have a more abundant life than what you're having. But you've got to start focusing in on the things that are going to show you how much he loves you. I, I've got a piece of paper up on my thing here. It says, Jesus says uh, unto him, go thy way. Thy son liveth. Um, it's from John 4.50. Um, like I said, I have reminders all over the place. I got another scripture that says, Lord, you established peace for us. All that we have accomplished, you have done for us. And that's in Isaiah. Uh, you know, you got to start putting things up that, that will encourage you, that will focus, help you to focus in on the fact that God is good and he loves you and that you're going to make it. You are going to make it today. I have on a shirt. It has Jesus with all the superheroes around him. And he says, and that's how I saved the world. He saved the world by coming into it and getting his hands dirty as a human and loving a bunch of people that didn't really love him at times. But he came, he lived, he died, he rose again, and he sits at the right hand of his father right now making intercession for you. Jesus is praying for you. You can't fail. If Jesus is praying for you. All right. Hey, this is Mr. Willing, West Virginia. I love you, but more importantly, God loves you. I hope you see Jesus this season. Shalom.